Stony Brook is on a roll. Winners of four straight and unbeaten in the Big South Conference. Coastal Carolina has lost all three previous meetings against the Seawolves. Following a devastating loss to Gardner Webb last Saturday, Coastal Carolina has virtually no shot at making the playoffs or winning the Big South Conference. I go home and Bo, our dog, he likes, he comes wagging my tail, his tail and he's happy to see me. My wife ain't. My wife's not happy to see me after a loss. She's mad. Stony Brook beat Coastal Carolina in Conway 38 to 28 last season. Big South Conference leading rusher Miguel Masonette is back to lead the Seawolves. CCU defensive tackle Chad McField, who grew up just 12 miles from Stony Brook, explains why the Seawolves running attack is difficult to stop. Having good running backs and a good line setting up their blocks and all that stuff, that, that's what makes them hard to, to stop on the rushing attack. Coastal is still banged up at key positions with Jamie Childers, David Duran, and Marcus Lott all still out with injuries. You're going to have injuries. You just hope you don't have as many key injuries as we have had. But again, I, I believe this, you can always got to try to turn negatives into positives. So with playing the uh, Denzel Rices and the Miles Rankins and the Pernell Williamses of the world, it's getting us ready even quicker for the rest of the season and the future. Kickoff for CCU at Stony Brook is set for 4 o'clock this Saturday afternoon in New York. Mark Haggard, News Channel 15 Sports.